Comic Life for Windows. If you haven't used Comic Life before, there's the menu bar. Gives you all your options. There's the toolbar on this top, which you're able to customize and put whatever you'd like on it to uh, make it fit for you. There's a page editing area. This is basically this is what your page will end up looking like once you print it out. There's the resource area where you can click on details and change all the different settings of whatever it is you're playing with. There's the element wall for putting in writing and and thought and talk bubbles. And then there's the page organizer. To add a page, you go down here and click the little plus button. And we have six pages. All right, we'll go to page one. First thing you'll probably want to do is choose the style of the page. So that would be your background. And now we'll put this at. Once you have the style, you can go to details, change it again to what you want. You can change the color. So you, if you want that, if there's not the style you want, you can just change the color to whatever you'd like it to be. Change it to how the white fades in. Can play with all this. All right. I'll go back there. After you choose chosen the style, you'll probably want to choose the type of comic you want to make. There's many, many, many different ones. Right now, we'll just do a nice basic one. Start with two boxes. All right. Insert. Oh. You can move these in the frame to however you like. Make sure you double click or else the whole thing will move. Okay. Go to details. You can flip it to however you want so that it looks the opposite. In here and also up here. You can once again change the style of your picture, make it look however you want, give it kind of a cartoon look. And change the contrast of it, change the shadow of your picture, how offset it is many different things you can do. Once you have your picture in there, you're probably going to want to put some lettering in. A title, maybe. Oh, look at that. In the dream. <coughs> with this kind of, with the big bubbly lettering, you can stretch it to however you'd like it. Once again, you can go to details. We'll uh, spread that out a little bit. You can see what it says. Skew. Living the dream. Once again, you can go to style. Change what it looks like. Pick all different fonts. You can choose the color, the outline, shadow, well, how the shadow goes. You can stagger the letters as much as you want. Undo button. Alright. Now, once you have your title, your bubbly letters, um, you are able to, you can add 
talking box in. Makes it how big it is. Details. You can change what color the background is of it. Once again, everything you want to change in it is in details. You can change what it looks like. And anytime you want to change the style of anything always just go up here instead of going into details. I just find that when there's more details when you go into details opposed to just working on up here. You can set it. You can by doing this you can change where that goes. You could talk to him now. Could talk to him. Okay. Caption. Alright, once again, change the side of that. Details. Choose font, you know what size it is. Then you can go to your next page, keep making comics, just basically repeat the whole thing over again. Slide this down like that. Um, like that. And put a few pictures in. You can do like different pictures at different sizes. So it's like, see how it's the same picture? Oops. If you click on it once, it'll change the uh, what the frame looks like. If you click on it twice, changes the style of the picture. I forgot to mention that earlier, sorry. Anyways, after you're done, go back to the first one, go over every single one, make sure that nothing got erased. Then you can click save. And once you save it, it will go in its own folder. that's that. I hope you learn more about Comic Life for Windows and have fun.